Um, <laughs> so did Carter get called to the diary room or did he go to talk to Big Brother in the diary I'm room? I'm not sure. You tell me. I said that he there was a diary room about him being called Qatar, but I don't know if that's where Big Brother said. Did they tell Paul off for it? They did, didn't they, at one point? He did get a talking to. Mm. But Big Brother brought up that it was an airline <laughs> as well. <laughs> not that it was a... All that free advertising. Not that it was a country. Mm. It's weird. Um, so that episode ended with Chad saying that he liked the media. Funny how quickly things can change in the Big Brother house. It's ridiculous. Um, and Trisha was like, Trisha and Chad were quite close actually. She's like, well, what are you going to do? Like, you're going to have a relationship across the pond. Are you going you're gonna to move to England? Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I love that you like non. The, I love that you like the non slutty one of the house. But she's basically like, really? Like, it's not going to happen. He had to move on to the slutty one after that. <laughs> I like Sla- I like Chad and get called a slag by who? Gemma oh well yeah but ever... <laughs> slut or something someone we'll called on... someone a slut we'll get on to that but um, I like Trisha and Chad's relationship but there you go something about um, her being in the bed and getting mad at Chad going out to smoke came out of I found out something out of Trisha's videos mm-hmm. um, where she'd been like What's it called? She'd be like on strike in the bed, basically. Mm-hmm. That was a, a thing she was trying to do. And oh, Chad, was, yeah. Chad was like supporting her through it. That's... I like John McCrick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's why she got a bit moody when he went out to smoke with Sarah, uh, apparently. But still. Even so, it's a bit arsehole. It's oldish. arsehole isn't it? <laughs> right, day five. Oh, my God. We've got a whole fucking week to go. <laughs> we need to speed this up. <laughs> so, this remember this thing about breakfast having to be cooked by the riffraff for the yeah vips and it like was questioned about whether Kartik thought it was actually not in the rules that they had to do the food it was just the drinks came up we paused on those rules and looked at them carefully Who, you, know you the and rule, i the rules that were on, oh, on the, the wall, wall. <laughs> yeah <laughs> did we me and someone did i don't think it was me <laughs> get someone out <laughs> <laughs> um Brandy said to Paul, I really quite like you, but I feel you're being abusive with your power. Mm. At least you could at least you can only do it with food and whatnot. Hang on, is this where they were having that task? And Brandy said that Paul eats like a savage. He does actually. So I've seen someone you retweeted someone saying that he eats like a baby or something. Oh uh, yeah, in a high chair. <laughs> <laughs> um Helen goes, can I interject? Because there are three of us on the board. <laughs> <laughs> on the board. The VIPs. Um, basically, oh yeah, they were around the di- the breakfast table, weren't they? She was like, basically, be nice to us because they're the ones that decide who are going to become these members. Mm. Um, Sarah Harding was bragging that she's met the Queen and she's played Wembley Stadium and she's met Jay-Z. Oh yeah, that was when she knew she was famous, apparently. Mm. Right. Um, oh, so then it was this task where they had to, there was stars in the sky and they had to catch them and then they won whatever was in the star. To get into the members club, yeah. wasn't it? Um, Don't go back over the ship. Move on from where the stars are. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm gonna, I've missed. I'm going to keep this green podcast tea. moving. This thing about green tea. <laughs> What about uh, green? Fuck green tea. Yeah, it's crap. Let's it was, talk about um, the important the relationship issues. Relationship stuff. <laughs> um, For anything to uh, do yeah, with Marissa... Amelia, Lily, and Chad, I don't want to hear it. Marissa and Jordan, I don't want to hear it. Irrelevant. Do you remember that Marissa Irrelevant. couldn't play in that task because she was already knowing it? So she gets, she basically got to like sit and watch Big Brother inside the Big Brother house. I mm. thought that was quite lucky. She just sat there and watched it on the screen. Lucky, yeah. So when that task was going on, those club members were served an afternoon tea, weren't they? Mm-hmm. And then Sam's like. Do you have cream there? And Derek's like, yes, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> you know, like all like drooling over this afternoon tea they're having. Mm. So basically, this bunch of VIPs decided who was going to get what oh, in, yeah, in those stars. It. Remember? Yeah, that was it. Um, some of them were like booby prizes, and some of them were just nothing. So. Amelia caught the star first, which was a romantic dinner for two, which she would only win if the second person caught the other star, which mm. was the dinner for two. Um, do you want to know the rest of them? No. 
<laughs> there was some outside contact as well going on. Do you Why? That? Some massage therapist came in and started giving massages around. No, I don't remember that. It was annoying. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Paul won... The, Sean won his membership and then Paul said, oh, we could never let you be riffraff mm. out loud. And mm. then Sam realised, like, hang on a minute, you decided this and he was trying to like, brush uh, it off. that was it, yeah. He did that on purpose, I that think, was didn't he? He yeah. wanted it to be known. Yeah. Did you notice that gradually as that task went off, all of the men took their tops off? Why? Chad started with his top off already and well, then, like, Sam and Jordan, like, joined him in the, mm. later on. But then I was like, it's, it, it's really hot in there, maybe that's why. Oh, we yeah. were hot in there. We need to talk about Sam. What about him? I fucking hate him. He's disgusting. He's a little weasel. Every word that comes out of his mouth, I just want to slap his little <laughs> cunt face. Honestly. I don't find him disgusting, but... Um... Oh, God, he's scum. Every... Oh, it's jokes. Oh, it's jokes, mate. Oh, it's jokes. Jokes. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Fuck off! Ah! can't scream i don't if you feel so strongly about oh, like, I, I find him, him like quite tedious but i don't i don't have i don't know i haven't got the energy to hate him i'd like to smash his fucking head in with a saucepan <laughs> well <laughs> ship josh in and maybe he'll do it for you and actually mark um yeah fuck so all that. basically the biggest news out of that was that Chad won that date, right? But it came down between um, Sam. They mm. did a bit of tension there, Big Brother. Like, came down between Sam and Chad. So they didn't know who was going to get the date. And then the last... Was the last thing where Sandy won a signed picture of Paul Denham? <laughs> Is that because... He did say, like, for signing goes, autographs. He goes around signing autographs. Because <laughs> he's old school. <laughs> so stupid. I bet... Who... who how, when did the last time he was asked for an autograph <laughs> was? Never. Exactly. Um, Trisha said... This house is awful, boring, the worst, and I'm hungry. They're all fucking fake. Oh, so later on... She has been complaining since day one, basically, hasn't she? She We've... has, which that... is annoying, because I've seen that video she's done before she went in, where she was, like, so happy yeah. to be picked. She felt it was an honour. She's been watching it for so long. The only fucking interesting thing that bitch did in the house was on the first night when she was talking to Jordan. She did absolutely nothing since then. That's true. Fuck you, Trisha. But she was trying to not do anything so that we voted her out. Because she wanted a fee. That's why. Get back to America. Stop slagging off Great Britain. She is going tomorrow. Good. The fuck. earliest fight they could get her, apparently. Good. Fuck <laughs> off. Um, yeah. Um, oh, this this is good, though. So mm. I, sorry, sorry, I'll take it back, is Trisha. Is it where Big Brother asked if, <laughs> if she shared her feelings with any of her fellow housemates? No. She's like, no. And he's like, can Big Brother ask why? She's like, because I don't like them. They're all fucking fake. There's no connection. What mm. What am I going to say? They're all fucking fake. Mm. I just said that, but I... Well, I need one bit of it. But then, Trisha got offered either pizza or immunity. And she took the pizza. They all... Everyone who wasn't yet, oh, in, the VI, yet in the VIP club got offered this. Oh. The VIPs so far were what? Brandy, Sean and Sam. Mm. Oh, and Derek and Helen, I think. But, um, yeah, so everyone was offered that chance. The catch was if they ate that pizza, they'd have no more chance to win their immunity and become mm. a member of the club. But Trisha said pizza is forever. She said, I'm, I'm taking it as 100%. The, easy, the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. Sex will give you STDs. <laughs> friendships are fake. Relationships will cheat on you. Family will disown you. Pizza is forever. That's nice. That was a good diary room. That could be your tattoo of the week. It's a bit long. No, just pizza is <laughs> <laughs> Um Why was... Marissa was making Amelia get her boobs out against her will, apparently. Making who get them out? Amelia. Oh, for that date. She was like, you need to get your tits out. I... And Amelia was a bit like, oh, no, I'd like to dress like a granny. <laughs> I've already said this once. Anything to do with Amelia, Chad, dating, and Marissa, I don't worry about it. Fuck off. <laughs> key part of the first week. And then it's over. Old news. Kartik had another good moment here. Yeah. Where <laughs> was it? Brandy was trying to get him to serve her drink first. Her and food. She was like, was it food? Yeah. She was like, ladies first. Mm. And he said, I don't believe in that. Oh, he was like, ladies first card. Lady, no, yeah, I don't believe in that. I think men and women are equal. Mm. A real lady would not pull that ladies first card. <laughs> it's <laughs> just my opinion. Mm. What do you think about that? Is he a sexist um, piece of shit, or well, is I've, he right that men and women are equal and women shouldn't expect their food served first? Well, I've got my ladies first card here. 
and I've been looking at the ter- oh, it's expired. terms and conditions on it. <laughs> and uh, no, Brandy's right, ladies first. <laughs> Especially if you're on the Titanic and there's not many lifeboats. <laughs> <laughs> you referenced that last week for some reason. <laughs> mm. Paul, and then, Paul observed, it's getting brutal. Paul said, it's a different mentality. Mm. He's from a different country and he he's, speaks a different only, language. He said he's only been here for a couple of years. Kartik has been really vocal about the fact he's been in the UK for 12 years. Mm. Yeah, and says it's a different language even. In What's India, a different... everyone speaks fucking English in India because we used to colonise the fucking place. Kartik is speaking English in the Big Brother house and he... Yeah, no, because Paul thinks he speaks Indian or whatever, <laughs> Hindi or something. <laughs> like, everyone knows that, I think it's an s- official second language in India, is it not? It's, irre- it's That's irrelevant. What he's saying is... Because he's brown, he doesn't speak di- English. Yeah, it's a different mentality. He's from a different country. Fuck off. Fucking racist piece of shit. Yeah. Um, but the worst part of that was yeah. he felt that was him standing up for Karthik How? and defending him How? by going, oh, you know, leave it out, Brandy, because he doesn't know any better kind of thing. Uh-huh. That's even more racist, don't mm. you think? But yeah. He's like so unaware yeah. that he says that in defence of Karthik. Yeah, I do see what you mean. Get what I mean? Yeah, I do. Um Oh yeah, Big Brother then revealed that members had picked who was doing what in that task. Mm. Like that was surely obvious. Um, there was that date later, and I've <laughs> at Chad and Amelia's date. Look what I've written instead of spag ball. <laughs> Sla- <laughs> slag ball. That was the thing. That was a typo. Sla- they had slag ball eaten from a sort of mm. very low. It was from a very low table, wasn't it? It was that smoking <laughs> area. It's not. A good look eating spaghetti together at the best of times, let alone from a low table, like, off your lap, is it, on a date? No, but I already told you I'm not talking about that subject. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hang on. There were some good punishments coming out of that task, and it was like old school Big Brother. Gemma had to colour in all of that popcorn. Oh, that was good. With a felt pen. Yeah, I like that. Do you think she ever finished that vat of popcorn? It was like a fucking laundry basket. No. (laughs) <laughs> and um, who else did a task with popcorn like that that's like separate out was they have to separate M- out M&M's or something like that maybe different coloured M&M's or something yeah small rings or something was it yeah. like Jetwood or something I can't remember I thought of like do you remember when they put Maxwell in that room and they had to like separate nuts and bolts or whatever <laughs> and they were like just had to stay in there and lock down until they'd done it should have done that. I like Gemma. shit like that. Good. Me too. It's like old school Big Brother. Mm-hmm. And then Sam had to carry around that big <laughs> fish, remember? Yeah. And dress as a fisherman. <laughs> and he made out like... Oh, and that weren't Sam. It was Jordan, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Jordan. Mm. But he made out like it was going to have to go into bed with him and Jordan, Jordan that night, which right. I didn't actually see happen, but I wish Big Brother mm. had made them take it to bed. But Sarah was all over it. She wanted to fucking go in the oven as soon as it came out, didn't she? Do you remember? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's like will it be alright tomorrow let's bake it like, I don't think you're allowed to eat the task equipment it's got to be returned <laughs> to the diary room <laughs> they're not your personal <laughs> <laughs> salmons <laughs> um, oh then the, Sarah got drunk and bit Amelia's oh uh, yeah <laughs> and then Big Brother decided to call Amelia in and ask if she was okay <laughs> That was another bit that had a bad camera angle on it. When she, yeah, because I didn't know yeah, what happened. I no. asked you, I was like, what did Amelia What's bite? What's the camera what angles? Not your Amelia, ca- Sarah. Sort your camera angles out, Big Brother. It's like the fucking sound on BBUS. Can't hear a fucking thing. Can't hear <laughs> anything. can hear it. Can't hear anything on BBUS. Can't see anything on BBUK. Brilliant. We've got 42 cameras or whatever. None of them are filming a fucking thing. <laughs> Unless it's Chad and Sarah noshing off. Then we've got 12 cameras on it. Um, <laughs> there was this like discussion of between Paul and Kartik about him being pissed off about serving him. Do you remember that? Yeah. And he said that he was being passive. Kartik was being passive aggressive. Mm. And he was like, "I can." Paul said, "I can see you're not happy about it, and I'm worried that you're going to snap. 
I feel hostility. And Karthik said, well, you feel what you feel. Basically, like, that's your yeah, problem. what can I do? Mm. 